Hello, my It is Crushmaster, and welcome to Inside the Back Rooms. That is right, my We are exploring the back rooms as the final. Maybe depends how what order I'm uploading the last three videos of my horror month. Um, uh, kind of. But uh, this might be the. This is the last one I'm actually recording. Um, I'm actually recording this. This is the last one uh, video I'm recording for the horror month, March. But here we are, the back rooms. Now, honestly, the back rooms have fascinated me for quite a while now. I haven't been there since the start, but like I, I think the first time I really heard of the back rooms might have been uh, based on the film theory channel with Matt Pat, um, where he did a series based on Kane, where he did a video on like the on uh, like the lore of Kane Pixel series, which I've checked out a few of his videos. I checked out the GT Live there. It's really cool. I've even seen other people's interpretations of it as well, like how there's multiple floors in the back rooms, well, levels in the back rooms, how there's like huge ridiculous numbers of like levels in general where it's just it's just insane. I've seen there's even this one where I think it's a, cha a YouTube channel where they do like little animations it's called Backrooms Explained, where they do like the series SCP Explained. I recommend you check out all of these like Kane Pixels, uh, Backrooms Explained. Those those um, they're they're really really good. It's so cool, and there's no really set quote unquote canon for the backrooms because it started like on 4chan and I even watched I even watched a few videos on where did the original image come from I even went on 4chan myself to look at like the post and some of the like uh on the original image and like some of the other posts there it's really really cool it really really fascinates fascinates me especially since I'm a very scientific person so and looking at all the other like terminologies like is the back rooms a different universe different dimension different realm different space time it's all these things i have my own ideas maybe i'll do my own interpretation of the back rooms maybe i don't know um i i haven't decided yet that's still like that's like long time from now pretty much whenever i decide to do something like that but might here we are now why did i choose this game in particular well i technically didn't this game just like now Mike's um uh, the the other game I played, which was In Silence, along with the, the one of the other two videos besides this one I, I'm uploading, it's called In Silence, and that game was recommended by my mod Steel Shot slash Soul Taker, now Steel Shot, uh, Steel Shot, and basically uh, this game is as well. So here you go, uh, here we go. Uh, this is uh, like I I I, uh, I know there's a few different backrooms game, but this is the one he recommended to me so you know uh, i'm playing it i want to check out what the back rooms in this in this person's interpretation is like so here we go so i'm not sure how much of a beta this is it also seems to be multiplayer uh settings real quick so yeah i want the graphics to be medium just in case so left shift run eyes inventory um wasd uh, e interact standard stuff. All right, just want to make sure. I think I'm gonna keep everything pretty much uh, the same. Uh, let's keep it. Let's do 120. Let's do 120 as the limit. That's the max. Maximize window. Yep, I think I'm all good here, much. Just want to make sure I get a look at all the buttons and everything like that. So, I E uh, left left control. Wait, left control and left shift. Oh, left control over here. You're right. Uh, okay, so uh, join game. No games found. Okay, yeah. So I'm guessing you kind of need to have a server, or maybe this is pretty still still pretty early access. I'm not sure, much. I'm jumping right into this because it literally says version 0.1.9a as well. So uh, it's probably still kind of like in a beta, I would imagine. I also can host my own thing, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna go single player. So. Start level. Ooh, so maybe there'll be different versions of like the different different levels, mods. So maybe that could be uh, pretty interesting based on interpretations. So here we go. Start game. My voice is a little like uh, hurting a little bit, honestly, right now, because uh, I pl I've been recording for like over like almost two hours, like over an hour and a half at this point, because that last game in silence really had me screaming and really took a while. It took a while, but I'm gonna have to edit it anyway, so it might be a little shorter. Also, I haven't had anything to drink yet. I don't have anything to drink right now, but uh, it's okay. It's the last video. I hopefully I can get through it. Oh, we have a little cutscene. Is that like Google Sheets? I think because I think I use that too sometimes. 
<laughs> Fell asleep at your job. That's a big no-no. Don't do that, Moist. Do not do that. People will not like that. And you woke up in the back rooms. Okay. So, does that mean in this interpretation, is this his dream? Or did he just literally no clip into the back rooms while he was sleeping? Alright, I want to get a... Can I jump? No jump. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. Now, I am familiar with a few entities of the back rooms in general as well. But at least some of the ones that I know of. But I wonder what versions are going to be in here. Oh. It's just like weird little bacteria with eyes, I would, I guess. I have no clue. It's like Bill Cipher. Bill Cipher created the back rooms. We're in the nightmare realm. It's all connected. Oh, man. Oh, man. So I can't crouch. I can crouch too. Not sure what I would exactly be crouching with uh, anyway. Okay. Ooh, that humbuzz. That humbuzz, Moitz. Escape. Question, should I be following these arrows? I'm kind of going to, just because I don't really have any where else to go, but... It's fairly well controlled, too. The sensitivity is a little high, but I'm going to keep it like that just because. Uh, I, it could be good for me when I, like have a, when I need to turn quick. Ooh, okay. It's it, The arrow's pointing that way, but... Use stairs. Yeah, because this is clearly stairs. <laughs> it's a ladder. Oh, oh, wait. What the? Can I... I don't think I can jump. What? Uh, I for inventory. Yeah, nothing yet. Nothing yet. Okay. Uh, two dressers. Okay. Ooh, almond water? Yeah, almond water. Nice. Almond water. Are you wounded? Cure yourself by drinking almond water. Okay, so I'm assuming that also... That that actually... Oh, oh okay, you know what, Mike? Okay, yeah, so I can definitely see how this might be a multiplayer game, especially. Uh, I'm liking this. I didn't even see this over here. It's just the, the way how the walls kind of, like, kind of connect like that. It's... Oh, I just noticed there's a stamina bar, I think, too, right? Yep, there's a stamina bar. You can't run forever. Oh, boy. Plus, they can always just make the monster run faster anyway. Confidential. Oh, the Smiler, right? That's the Smiler. Entity 3. Information. In, uh, in the lurking darkness, these walls shelter something mysterious. A bright, smiling thing that stands out from the shadows. Rumors say that it has a physical body that cannot be seen with the human eye. It is only known that it's attracted to all sources of light, and that if it traps you in the void, the shadows will probably never see the light again. Remember, a smile does not always reflect peace, if not, if not quite the opposite. References. The next photo was taken on, on a darker area of the back rooms. Entity Hazard Class 2. Okay, Mike. Sorry about that. Uh, H also happens to be the button where I have to, um, where it's my stop and start of the record, uh, of the re of recording session. So, uh, yeah, let's not do that again. Also, what's this? Uh, anxiety pills? Okay. I guess. I'm not trying to get back on those. <laughs> I will not elaborate on that. Okay, so... It's attracted to light, the Smilers, I believe it's called. Even though it just said Smile, I believe they are called Smilers, that entity. Granted, I'm not sure if the creator... Ooh, more, more notes. Okay, that's good. Not gonna reread. I could read it like this just fine. Confidential. File, unknown entity. Ooh, that's like the one with Kane Pixel series. Uh, the, the weird tripod, wiry, fungus-looking thing. It's it, We're not exactly sure. 
It is a humanoid that seems to be made of cable for some reason. It is believed that it has control of the place. When it's close, the environment of the rooms changes, and it seems to be attracted by electronic devices and radio frequencies. So when you are in the same area as it, be very careful. You don't want to attract your own death. References. The expedition team took this photo, where a wire creature appears prowling the rooms. Entity Hazard Class 4. Wow, okay. That's not good. How do I use the radio? Is it like only... How do I use this? Q? E? R? Uh, okay, Mark. So R, uh, you can uh, use R to just put it away and get it again. Four... One, one, hash, uh, number or hashtag. Ugh, what's that written in? Ugh. One, nine, one, six, three. Am I supposed to uh, do something with this? I don't know. It seems to be relatively fine for now. I'm fine right now, but I don't know. Number, the elevator code. Number, 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 number. One, two, three, four. Okay, so uh, let's see. So, two, three, four. Wait, uh, does this side have the things? Uh, so is it number, 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 number. Let me try, let me try four, one, did the elevator just disappear? Oh no, oh no, it's right there, okay, okay. So, f uh, four, one, three, two. Let me check that note again real quick, let me see, how does, uh, how does it work again? Uh, number, that, 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 that. Or is it telling me these, these numbers over here, over on this side? I don't know, I'm gonna try this side. One, nine, six, two. All right. One. Oop, nope, nope, no, nope. Ah, man, I messed up. One, nine, six, two. Damn, nope. So what about four, one, three, two? All right. Uh. Four, one, three, two. Damn. Uh, let me see. Two, three, one, four. Two, three, one, four. Okay, what about two, six, nine, one? Two, six, nine, one. Oh, whew, it scared me a little bit. It scared me so much I forgot. Okay. Two, six, nine, one. Two, six, nine, one. Okay. Two, six, nine, one. What the heck? How does this stupid code work? Much? I have no idea. I tried like forward, backwards on both sides. For the elevator code number 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 let me see maybe something in my inventory A communication device I'm guessing that's only for for a uh, multiplayer because uh, I'm not sure how you would use the radio here oh it's lagging a little bit lagging a little bit Okay, my lights. I am back, and um, basically I ran out of storage, unfortunately, to actually record because uh, the last gameplay was so long. I ran out of storage on my Bandicam software. That's the software I used to record Bandicam, and um, I ha also have a lot of videos that I need to make sure that I don't want to delete or I do want to delete. So I have enough gigs now where hopefully it'll last me until the end of the session. 
Ugh, excuse me. Oh, man. And I also did figure out how to do the code. I looked it up real quick. I know it's cheating, but I was a little... I was just kind of stuck. And basically, you're going to have these eight numbers, and they're randomized. But if you look at the back, where these are, you'll see that, like, how... Um, let me see. So you have one, two, three, four here, right? Well, that means the first number is nine, and then the... Uh, the third one is six, so like that. So we have uh, nine, nine, two, six, one. Okay, let's try that. Hopefully I did that right. Nine, two, six, one. Nine, two, six, one. Hey! Nice! Okay, boys. Did it. Ooh. Can I go back? Can I go back? <laughs> I want to go back. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, man. Is it too late? Is it too late to turn back? I think it's too late to turn back, Moitz. Okay. Here we go. You know, I think I'm going to leave that door open just in case. So, so far, we have the wire monster and the smiler. No flashlight. Unlike the first two games, my where F usually helps, F does not seem to do jack. Only water. Nice. Also, can I just say, I like the the way like uh, the person, the way the the shadow moves as well. Kind of makes it a little creepy because you could legit probably get scared by your own shadow. Oh, wow. That is really well done, Moines. That is really, really well done. Oh, nice. Another one. Kind of reminds me of the safe stations in Bendy. Bendy Ink Machine. Kind of reminds me of those. Alright. I'm a little nervous. <gasps> gonna happen how do I how do I even get rid of that thing though I notice there's vents too. I am praying nothing comes out of those vents. That was the noise of the monster, I think. Like the wire one. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. No, 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 please, 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 hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You're right there, you're literally right there.
Here's the plan. Gonna go back to that dead body. Go through that area. Or maybe not. Oh god, my vision. Oh, oh god. I can't access my inventory in the locker, by the way, Mods. I really can't. Oh man, this is not good. This is so, so bad. My anxiety. My anxiety. I need to use the pills. Oh no. Okay, run, 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 run. Okay. I really hope the monster is not here. Let me see, almond water? Oh no. Read note. This area is fully radioactive, so if anybody wants to enter, a protection suit is required, otherwise the radiation could kill the person. It's a locked door that will only open if the radiation of the room is low and low level. Achieve this is a class D extinguisher is required. It won't eliminate the radiation, but it will increase the radiation for a sh short time, three minutes approximately. Some of the items are contaminated. Use a Geiger counter to check on the other things, yada yada yada, and we're gonna close that. Mods, this is like a full on Yikesville right now for me. Like, full on Yikesville. I'm pressing for time because I don't have a lot of gig, gig, gig space right now. I am freaking out. And there's two entities that I know of in this place that want to kill me. There's a lot of hiding spaces, so probably for the multiplayer as well, I would assume. Oh, don't lag. Don't lag on me now. Please don't lag on me. Please don't lag on me. Ah, man. I don't know what the code is. Uh, escape. Okay. So I'm gonna need to find a, a way to open that and get a code. Great job, by the way, on the game design. This is really, really good atmosphere. Ah, oh, come on, come on. The vases. One of the vases in the room contains something. They are so hard to break by hand. You will need something else. Maybe a hammer. That's nasty. Why would you want a nose? I mean, granted, I picked it up, but I'm like, I didn't know what that was.
That's suspicious. Right? I can't carry any more almond water. Nope, still can't carry any more almond water. Come on, hammer. Hammer, hammer. Anxiety pills. Can I carry any more of those? Yeah, I can. All right. Oh, more. All right, can't carry. So, three, five, three. Well, three, five, one. Yeah, I can definitely see how this is much more in the multiplayer area. Because uh, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of pills. Ah, oh, sick. Why the heck am I collecting body parts? I have a nose and teeth. All I need is a freaking eyeball and I'm all set in the creepy department. Oh no. That was not open. Oh lord. I do not like this. I do not like this. Thing with a bunch of uh, lockers I can hide in. Nuh uh. Not gonna happen, pal. Not gonna happen. Nuh uh. No, sir, Rebob. Nope. What is this? I'm so confused. What is this? Is this a glitch? Am I truly in the Matrix? Okay, watch. Well, so, it's gonna cut out again because I don't have a lot of gigabytes. So, just give me a second. I promise I'll be right back. Okay, Moitz, well, I'm back. This is the last time, I promise. I hope so. I'm tired, freaking out. It's late. I just want to go to bed. I swore I thought that was something else. What the heck is this? Why is there an eyeball now? 
Let's discuss the, what is this? Can't turn on the moment. Maybe this can be broken with something. I need a hammer. That's what I need right now. I need a hammer. Right, okay. I, know, I thought that was another vent, but no, that's the same vent, I think. Also, this area, can I can I interact with this somehow? Can I do something with this? Or is this just a glitch? I have no idea. Does that actually do anything? Ah, oh, this is just getting disgusting. What is it? What's the point of getting all these body parts? I really don't see the point of getting all these body parts. I really don't. You need red key to open this door. There are so many things to do in this game, Arts. Oh wait, this is where I started, right? Any chance I could do something with this? Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay, Moitz, well, I think I'm done. Because honestly, my voice is a little- it's, uh, it is hurting a little bit, actually. Um, I'm sorry. I know we're only just doing this for a uh, couple of minutes at this point, but I'm tired. It's, uh... It's 1.40, I didn't expect that last, the second video to take that long. I'm re I really am, I want to keep going, I want to see what's about this game, because honestly, I think I, I will play this more on the channel. Maybe switch it out with FNAF or Bendy or something else. Because there are a lot of interesting things going on, so that's enough for now. I'm really sorry if this one turns out to be a bit shorter than the other two. Hopefully you all enjoyed Horror Month, though. Uh, once again, show you my uh, FNAF sh shirt, uh, keeping the spirit of horror month, even though FNAF, even though Final Fantasy Freddy's didn't make an appearance with this month, because I played anyway on the channel. Uh, right here we have Toxic Springtrap and Radioactive Foxy, I still can't get over that. Oh man. But uh, anyways, hopefully you all enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe if you like this. Um, sorry if it wasn't really scary scary, but uh, there was like... Saw a Smiler twice, that wire creature. I'm not sure if this is going to like restart me or if it saves my progress with checkpoints. I'm not 100% sure how the game is. Um, but let me know, Mites. I'll, I'll play it and maybe if it if it does have multiplayer, which it seems to have, I'll play with some of my mites or maybe even some of you guys. I think that'd be really cool. I swear these noises are so, so creepy. Anyways, that's enough for now. I'm going to get some rest because I need it. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you all later. Let them out and have a happy Halloween and horror month.